2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ commanded his followers to take his gospel to the ends of the earth. This command known as the Great Commission has yet to be completed. But Chinese believers have an inspiring vision to fulfill that command within this generation. Here's CBN News Middle East correspondent Chris Mitchell. CBN News recently sat down with Brother Yun, the man behind the book, The Heavenly Man. Co-authored by Paul Hathaway, it chronicles the remarkable life story of a Chinese evangelist. It's helped inspire thousands of Western Christians and introduced them to the Chinese home church, also known as the Underground Church. According to Brother Yun, the story of the church in China today and for the past several decades has been like a modern-day book of Acts. We just went everywhere. We found people who didn't know about Jesus. We healed the sick, we cast out demons, and we led people into salvation of Jesus. And that is what we are doing today. The history of the Chinese house church is a powerful chronicle. In 1949, Mao Zedong expelled the Western missionaries and began a campaign to purge China of Christianity. During this long campaign of persecution, many in the West feared the light of the church would be extinguished. But like a stream in the desert, the church not only survived the harsh conditions, it thrived. Today it's estimated there are from 70 to 100 million Christians in China. During this time, Brother Yun, like many other Christians, was imprisoned and tortured. But his faith remained strong. Is that God himself or Jesus himself in a special way helped me to overcome this thing? It was more like in myself, in my spirit, and in my heart. I had to focus my eyes on Jesus, think about his suffering for me. And so I was receiving strength from his suffering, and that made me strong enough to overcome the persecution. Even in jail, he says the Holy Spirit moved powerfully. And I saw a revival to break through. Many multitudes of heavy criminals and gangsters came to salvation and the change in their lives was so dramatic that even the director of the prison, he recognized and he said, This Jesus is amazing. How can he change the people? Who is he? Through a series of miraculous adventures described in the heavenly man, Brother Yuan left China in 1997. Along with Peter Xu, his pastor, they're proclaiming to the church in the West a vision that's captivated the church in China. The vision is known as the Back to Jerusalem movement. The leaders of this movement explain it's not a plan by the Chinese to hold a conference here in Jerusalem, but rather a vision to take the gospel to all the nations in the earth between China and Jerusalem. The vision is one of the most ambitious goals in church history. The idea is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ back along the ancient trade routes known as the Silk Road. These routes would take the gospel through some of the most inhospitable regions in the world. This region, also known as the 1040 window, contains some of the people on earth most resistant to the gospel, the Hindu world, the Buddhist world, and the Islamic world. Despite the formidable challenge, many Chinese see an opportunity, and as Jesus said, fields white under harvest. Jesus has the keys to any locked door. It may be a closed nation where religion has jailed people and Jesus has the key to all these doors. And every day my faith grows. And I truly believe today and in the very soon future, Jesus is going to open the door for the gospel in the Buddhist nation, in all of India and in the entire Muslim world. The Back to Jerusalem vision began in the 1940s with a small band of pioneering Chinese Christians. They failed to fulfill the vision, but the idea was rekindled in a new generation. While the vision originally came to the Chinese church, Pastor Peter Xu says the Chinese church wants to partner with the Western church. To start a communication and the relationships and the connect with the church in the West, and so together with the gifts in both churches to go hand in hand for this great mission. Really challenging people to connect to the last lap of the race of world missions. 
Gordon Hickson is the UK coordinator for the Back to Jerusalem movement. He believes the church in China is uniquely prepared for this task. It's expected as many as 100,000 missionaries will be needed. Many of these Christians have been forged in the furnace of persecution. This is a total life commitment. They're willing to die for this vision. And that's very humbling for people. When, you, when you're working with people who are willing to lay their lives down for a vision, which is costing them their lives. Most of the people who are beginning to be trained in this, before they even come into the training schools, they have to be willing to say, I'm ready to die outside of China. I'm, I'm willing to uh, actually be buried outside of China. So that's heavy stuff. The leaders of the Back to Jerusalem movement believe the idea could help complete the Great Commission in our generation and help fulfill China's destiny. As Napoleon once said, China is a sleeping giant. When it awakens, the earth will shake. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Thank you, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, there's a book called The Heavenly Man. I couldn't put it down when it was given to me at Christmas time. <clears throat> and it, it is the most fascinating story of Brother Young. <laughs> what he went through uh, is beyond belief. The time when he fasted, and I believe it was 84 days, it was supernatural how God miraculously got him out of prison. He just walked through the door and the guards were uh, like blinded. Uh, but the suffering, the torture, the things that he went through, you don't want to miss reading this book about this extraordinary man. You can get it at CBN.com.